Hello, this is Tom from Never Center. Um, I just wanted to show you in detail um, some of the layer effects that we have programmed already in, in Pixel Mesh. Uh, I'm starting with this photograph of a moon. Um, I'll be showing these effects uh, through uh, converting a photo into pixel art. Uh, let me just uh, pixelize this to a nice level. Um, now I'm going to add effect, uh, the first effect, disable partial alpha. Uh, I won't be able to really show that with here, uh, this photo, but it's basically if you have an image that has some semi-transparent parts, if you add this effect it will just make everything either fully transparent or fully opaque. Um, but this image is already fully opaque. Uh, color key, now this is used to erase parts of an image based on color. Um, and what I do here is I can select the color that I'm going to uh, key with, and you can see I selected the background color, and then I can set the tolerance with this slider. And so um, let me put this up to full resolution so you can see very clearly what's happening here. But um, since I selected this color, it's erasing basically that color, and so I can erase all the background, so I've just got this moon left here. Um, and if I needed to, I can add multiple colors to key with and so I could just select another color, um, but one basically works fine. I can just put the tolerance right there. Um, so that's the color key effect. Um, let me repixelize this. Uh, the next one, auto gradation. And what that does is it lets me have a, a dark color and a light color. Um, maybe I'll make the dark color a little bit darker here. Um, and then as I slide this slider, it just looks at, it looks at the underlying um, image there, and it uh, basically measures all of the lightness values. And then this slider I can set and say, okay, I want you to divide that up so you only use two different lightness values. And then as the slider goes up, it increases or decreases the amount of uh, gradations between dark and light. And this is a really handy tool for when you're taking, again, starting from a photo and you want to pixelize it and you only want it to have a few gradations. And then I can set these dark and light colors to be anything that I want. Um, they can be colorful. Um, so like with a moon, uh, it can be handy to set these uh, just going from different shades of blue. Let me find some nice shadowy blue here. And then another handy thing is if I want to change the background color of the whole document um, to make it uh, what I might be using in my game or whatever, um, sometimes it's easier to, to make your art if you've got a custom background color. Um, I'll just put that back to gray. All right, so that's auto gradation. Um, the next one is something similar to that. It's uh, restrict color palette. What this does is um, I can set a few colors in here. Let me just set, I'm gonna set these three colors to sort of three different uh, white, sort of a gray and then a black. And when I turn this on, it's just looking at each pixel in the original image and asking which of these colors is it closest to. And then it's assigning it to that color. So if I change this middle color, you can see nothing, nothing in, in there currently in the original um, was closest to this black color, so it's not using that one at all. It's using the light gray or the, or the white or the, the gray. And so if I take this black and turn it up, as I turn it up, then it's actually finding pixels that are closest to that color. So this is similar to the auto gradation, but it just gives you more um, control, more fine control over which uh, pixels are mapped to which colors. And you can see it's got this remap colors checkbox. Um, and so uh, basically each of these colors down here corresponds to the color up here. And I'm saying take the white um, that was mapped to in these original ones, and then I can remap that to anything else. So we'll take the lightest pixels from the moon, which are mapping to this. And then I'm saying, all right, now remap it to green, the medium ones to red and the darkest ones we could put to blue or whatever. You wouldn't use it probably for something like this, but it can be handy if you want to be very specific about the colors of your pixel art. Um, anyway, I'm going to go back and, and uh, remove that and just turn this auto gradation back on. 
Uh, then we've got colorize, which uh, lets me select a color here, and then um, I can just it's it's basically tinting the whole image, and uh, you can do it at darker or lighter shades of that. Um, you can actually get quite a bit of fine control with this, uh, so that can be handy. If I uh, turn that off, say I had my auto gradation just to levels of gray, like that, and then I can turn colorize on and use that to get the blue uh, hue to what I'm doing there. Um, that's colorize. Uh, outline, it's pretty obvious. Um, adds an outline. Uh, mostly want that for when you're doing lower resolution things probably, but um, one of the neat things about it is that you can uh, add multiple outlines by clicking plus and then make them different colors. Um, so that could be kind of handy, uh, but probably not for this particular piece of pixel art. Uh, all right, and then what else do we have on here? Uh, mirror. Um, again, that one's not probably going to be something that you would use with a photo, but when I choose mirror, um, I can choose which side it's mirroring from. And so you can see when I have left here, it's taking whatever is on the left half of this image and it's going to mirror it over onto the right side. Um, and it's the same from the right, the mirror from the top, mirror from the bottom. The top left will sort of radially mirror it based on what is in the top left quadrant. Um, but again, that's not something you're going to want to use probably on a photo. Uh, I'll just add another layer here to show some of these things. Let me turn off that. Um, and so if I'm painting and I have a, let's turn on outline and mirror from the left. And so, um, as I paint in this layer, let me pixelize this more. Um, then yeah, I can have the active actively mirroring. Um, and there's also just um, one note is that there's also a master layer which doesn't have any content but you can um, you can add effects to the master layer that will apply to all of the layers below it uh, so that can be um, pretty useful um, and then we got this one this layer is pretty dumb uh, anyway those are the the basic effects um, and like I say, we look forward to hearing your feedback and coming up with a bunch more different kinds of layer effects to add uh, in addition to selection tools and some other cool stuff. Uh, so we look forward to hearing from you.